In this video, I am going to talk about integration between FME and Pictera. Pictera is a computer vision web platform specifically designed for geospatial data, that is, detecting objects on imagery taken from drones, planes, or satellites. Imagine we are concerned about the condition of the runways and taxiways at Vancouver International Airport, and we decided to use computer vision for finding cracks in the pavement. Let's inspect and find some areas where we think we might find lots of cracks. The runways are actually in perfect shape in Vancouver, but we'll find some secondary areas that look not so good. So let's begin with creating our workflow. We bring some data in, a huge ECW image and vector areas of interest, which are stored in a special light database. We only will send our areas of interest to Pictera to maximize the value of the analysis. As usually with FME, the input format is not really important. We can prepare the rasters exactly the way Pictera likes them. Projection, bands, interpretation, and so on. Now let's upload the clipped images to Pictera. We provide the transformer with the API key, specify the action and the names of the raster. Here we build the names based on area of interest IDs. Then we run the workspace and the images get up uploaded to Pictera Cloud Storage. And we also will switch to Pictera now. After we log in, we can see that our images were successfully uploaded. For this demo, we will concentrate on image 8 on top of the list. I already trained the crack detector earlier, and now I want to improve it by adding more samples. To do so, I pick my detector, why there are cracks, and choose Improve Detector. Then I can add my image 8 along with the other images to the detector. Now we can begin our training. You actually don't have to do it in a browser. You can create the training data set in your favorite CAD or GIS and then import the data as GeoJSON to Pictera. And GeoJSON is just another format supported by FME. So now let's zoom into our image, define training areas, and trace some cracks on the pavement. We also need to define areas where we don't have cracks and also assessment areas. After the training, we will see there how good the results are and whether the detector needs more training. Then we run the training and after a short while, we can inspect the preview of the results in the assessment areas. If you like them, the training is complete and we can go back to FME for detection on a larger scale. Let's begin a new workspace starting with the creator, which kicks off the transformation. And then we place Pictera connector in which we request the list of all the rasters uploaded to the service. This tester will keep only the image 8. The next Pictera connector returns the list of all the detectors and will keep only one, the YVR cracks detector. After that, we have the ID of the raster we want to run detection on and the ID of the detector, which means we are ready to run the detection with the third Pictera connector. But before running the detection, we will prepare the data for going to our destination system. Let's assume we work with ArcGIS and need a file geodatabase. We will reproject the output data to the UTM 83 zone 10 and add today's date as an attribute. We need to add the file geodatabase writer and define the feature type by setting its name, specifying the geometry type, and adding the attributes we want to see in the output. Then we run the transformation. The request goes to Pictera and we wait for the arrival of the detected objects. We actually don't need to go to ArcGIS to inspect what we received from Pictera. We can open the output directly from Workbench, so let's do it. Here is uh, our output for the image with ID8. And let's turn on the background map, which is that ECW image we began with. I don't know about you, but I actually quite like what we've got here. And now uh, let's talk about the last part of our project. We will create some reports and prepare work orders for fixing problems with the pavement 
that we've found. We read the whole data set with all the cracks we detected, uh, eight areas in total. Area calculator calculates the area of pavement covered with cracks. Then this feature reader we let each area read its respective raster. Finally, we read all the paved areas in YVR. We need this dataset to make sure we don't include any buildings or grassed areas into our reports. We, so to say, add some common sense to the results of the automated detection. After clipping all the cracks with the pavement, we can calculate the percentage of the area covered with cracks. With Mapnik Rasterizer, we add the cracks overlay on top of our images. We will use them in our reports. Now we generate an Excel spreadsheet, where each sheet shows one of our AOIs and some numbers about it, the total area and what percentage of the area is covered with the cracks. Note I did two things here, transposed the table and added some color coding for the percentage, from green, which means low, through yellow and orange to red, that is, there are lots of cracks. The multi-page PDF contains the same information. Finally, if the area covered with cracks exceeds 5%, we submit a work order for that area through CityWorks. This concludes my video about FME Pictera integration.